This Yuri clip is Yuri and Fulcrum get... Oh, so that's... The, okay, Fulcrum's the other guy. He's a streamer too. I recognize his name. So Yuri and Fulcrum get chucked out of an Uber and lectured. <laughs> okay, let's see what this is saying. Oh my God, these guys, man. There's a side of IRO streamers that I hate and there's ones I love. The ones I love are the HS Tiki Tokis, um, even the Sneakos, where you just go around doing what they're doing, right? They go to casinos, they go to restaurants, they hang out, they talk shit, you know, whatever. The ones, the IRO streamers that I hate are this version, the, the school of Ice Poseidon ones, where they go out and try to make the lives of service workers horrible for the entertainment of their viewers and to get money. I fucking detest that. If you're going to go to a nightclub and just try and pull girls and shit and talk shit to people on the dance floor, that's one thing. But going out of your way to disturb the lives and, you know, whatever of what of service industry people who are usually working in dead end jobs they don't want to be at, you know, waiting for the fucking clock to strike six so they can go home. I fucking hate it. I fucking hate it. But hey, let's continue. Let's see what this says here. Guys, TTS is back on. Yo, Fulcrum. Yo. I've been wondering this question for a long time. Okay. How many genders are there? 74. Is that the real number? Yeah, if you I Google it. I think it might be more. It's more? I want to be correct here. Do you know, ma'am, how many genders there are? You're asking that in a very rude way where you're, you're like making fun of the question. Exactly. I love it. It's a woman. That's their Uber driver. And she's now giving them a lecture. She's giving them a dressing down and telling them, hey, you guys might want to grow up a little bit. They're probably, the, you know what's funny? She's probably the same age as Yuri. <laughs> he's acting like he's the same age as Fulcrum because I think Fulcrum's in his early 20s. Yuri's acting like Fulcrum, but he's actually probably the same age as the driver. I bet you. That's a funny thing because Yuri, if I'm not mistaken, he's like in his 30s. Maybe he's like late 20s, but he's definitely not under 25. So he's trying to act like the edgy, you know, kid streamer, like an ice show speed, like a neon, well, I'm young and dumb, but he's not. And now he's embarrassing himself in front of a woman who's probably the same age. He's more of his age mate and being told to act like a fucking grown up. Thing where it's like, what? Who? When did You're very do did I ever say anything about jerking off? I let you guys know that you're very disrespectful. Even just me waiting for you outside. You waited asking, too long? Me asking if, if that was even you. I don't know who you are. I'm wondering if there's someone I'm supposed to be picking up somewhere else. Is it his outfit? I can't even see what you're wearing. Like, the fact that you can't even have a serious conversation with me as a human being. It seems like, like you don't want to talk to anyone. Giving you a ride like I'm a human being. You are a random Uber driver. You are a human being too, though. As well, but Jesus also, I. Rise. If ever there was a person who you looked at and looks at and thought, you know what, this guy's never been smacked in the face, I think Yuri is a good example of it. But I just forget, forget the smack in the face thing. There's something about a dude who takes pleasure in winding up regular people, especially women. Like, he seems to have a real penchant having these back and forth because when he had that running with the guys at bape he ran away on his little e-scooter like a bitch right he, di he didn't want to get in a back and forth he really was a bit awkward he felt uncomfortable when those guys at the bape store kind of gave him a, a bit of a telling off but when it comes to women he seems to have a real enjoyment in kind of like riling them up and getting you know, up for like a, you know for no pun intended with riley barely there but he seems to have a real love for like riling up women there's something about this I don't know what personality trait it is, but he seems to enjoy getting under the skin of girls. It's odd and it's disturbing and it's disgusting as a dude, to be fair. You should be diff diffusing the situation, walking away from it or whatever else, but you shouldn't be leaf gleefully getting involved in this sort of shit. Well, I request, I, uh, I, uh, we turned it off. Yeah, I turned off, the, I turned off the speaker for you when you asked and I don't remember talking about masturbating. Like, be real and like, listen and like, empathize and like, what? then I, how did I not empathize if I turned the speaker down? 
exactly. I well, honestly have no desire to talk to you anymore. You're two minutes from your where your location. Thank you. I'm gonna drop you off. I hope that you guys thank you some respect for the people who are driving you at 9 30 on a Saturday night somewhere. Like if you were like scared of driving Uber drivers, why would you be an Uber driver? I mean, what you're like, you just say like, oh, I'm worried about having you guys in my car, but you chose to have this as a job. Oh, I fucking hate him so much, man. You're gonna have to strange people in your car all the time as an Uber driver. Two dollars, Uber driver. You can't silence us. You are the worst Uber driver ever. You tree hunters, very sensitive out here in the bay. It's not my fault. You are an Uber driver. Ever get his hard destination now this is a horrible ride you sensitive fat girl dude what the no 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 okay you see i'm turning that dude that was oh that was rude I, that was rude God. okay all right we'll get out here thank you oh my god dude bro jesus christ man oh my god we're never getting home bro let me make sure i have all my yeah, stuff a light, man. i don't want to all right bye sorry Dude, what the? We just got kicked out three times today. Three times. Oh my god. That's the thing. I'm. There was a there was a time right where when you did a vlog or like a live stream, you would purposely put yourself in interesting position. Like you'd go and seek adventure. You'd go and travel. You'd go to a really crazy bar. You'd go to a crazy live show. You'd go to a fucking fun fair circus, whatever it may be. You'd go to, you'd do things. You'd go to experience things. And then in a way of experiencing those crazy things, you might bump into interesting people that you want to speak to on your live stream. That's what it, streaming was kind of like before. And now with these donuts, they're, perp they're living a boring life. And instead of having living an interesting life, they're living a boring life and then making other people's daily lives hell by trying to involve them in their content or trying to goad them or trying to provoke them or trying to get under their skin for their own, for their entertainment and to line their pockets with the TTS and whatnot, right? Because they know how much it annoys people, right? It's, it's already in, in, intrusive anyway, having this loudspeaker that reads out tips and donations. It obviously incentivizes the viewers and the trolls to... Uh, you know to send in tips that have offensive things in public it's it's one thing doing it on stream but when you're doing it in public and you're invading everyone else's privacy it's annoying it's obnoxious everyone knows it you do it anyway because it obviously makes you giggle and it obviously lands your pockets and it makes the stream fun and the, and the fans enjoy it but then the real people that you're interacting with have a horrible time they have a horrible time they they get to make feel like shit while you get to continue giggling along the way <laughs> Okay, now we're in the ghetto. <laughs> no! Now we're in the ghetto. How far are we? Are you fucking me, right? No. Honestly, I, I detest uh, Yuri, man. He's such a piece of shit. But hey, what can you do? 